On the southern coast of Taiwan, a group of recruits are fighting to join one of the Navy's toughest units, the Marine Amphibious Recon, known as the Frogmen. But before they earn this badge of honor, recruits must first endure 10 weeks of training. The climax is with Hell Week. Six days of non-stop punishment. It's a brutal selection course where almost one third will fail. And only the best will make the cut. Taiwan's Marine Amphibious Recon Unit are trained to approach from the ocean, gather intelligence, and hit the enemy hard. Our They can operate on sea, air, and land. But their main role is to clear the way for large amphibious assaults. This unique unit was born from conflict. As the Chinese Civil War was brought to an end in 1949, the nationalist forces of the Republic of China retreated to Taiwan. A special elite force was needed to keep both Taiwan's shores safe and have the ability to probe into China's coastline. In 1955, the amphibious reconnaissance unit was born. The first batch of 22 frogmen passed the selection and formed Taiwan's first marine amphibious recon unit. Modeled after the U.S. Navy SEALs, these soldiers quickly earned the nickname Frogmen. Today, there are only 400 recon marines, a small elite corps. Being constantly on call is part of this unit's DNA. To become part of this unit, Recruits first have to pass a 10-week selection course designed to test their physical and psychological limits. And it all starts here. Zoeing Ken, Gaoshan, Southern Taiwan. It's already week nine of the course. 33 men have started and only 15 remain. This class of recruits are already serving soldiers in the Marine Corps. 义务役的弟兄他们受完训之后，在单位服役的时间并不会很久，所以相对的，我们觉得志愿役的士官兵啊，他可以长期的在这个单位服役。所以我们现在都几乎朝向全志愿役的方面来招训。Recruit Soon Jia Jun has a legacy to follow. 自己的父亲也是，以前也是这个专场班出来的。and some just want to be the best of the best. Those that survive will earn the coveted Marines Amphibious Reconnaissance Unit badge. 
两栖征收大队的备章，潜水员的部分表示我们具备了两栖征收作战的能力。那降落伞的部分是我们具备的空降的作战能力。It's 6 a.m. call time. Next, they have to pass a swimming test before embarking on Hell Week, the final and hardest week of training. These men have already completed nine weeks of training, and they are about to begin their final swimming test. First, recruits have to perform a set of warming exercises known as the Frogmen Workout. 我们在任务前，原本做的蛙操会有二十六节，我们会取前段十节，让他们做暖身、被窝挺腹、腿部运动，几乎都是强迫拉筋的动作，不至于在水上会抽筋。In combat, these men could spend hours in water. Their bodies need to be as highly tuned as professional gymnasts, keeping the joints and muscles stretched and flexible. But recruit Xu Cheng Hung's body isn't doing what he wants it to. This is already his second try at the course. After the warm up, it's time for a 50 meter swim. But the recruits will have their feet and hands tied. 算是一种逃脱术。对，如果说被俘虏了，手被绑起来，我们会让学生达到可以自己逃脱的一种一种程度。The water is 20 degrees. 游泳池水很冰，对，很冰冷，因为这边是地下水抽起来的。First up is recruit Gao Inche. And to make things more difficult, they can't touch the bottom. 毕竟如果在渡河或者是是在在大海里是不可能会有可以让他点地的，所以基本上是尽量不要点地，这是最好的。这个顶多在吸第二口气，他就不吸。拉起来。海口埋太久了。其实，在有的过程中，因为他只有脚的脚的在运用，所以。The cold is beginning to affect the recruits as they start the next challenge. Swimming the same 50 meters underwater without coming up for air. From the swimming time, if there is a wave of water, we may have to do a wave of water. 渗透，或者是要脱逃，就必须要用到冰钳。The recruits will have to hold their breath for about 40 seconds to make it to the end of the pool. The recruits are struggling to make it. Hey, you're doing what? Some students will hold their breath. They can't hold their breath. They have to hold their breath. 那他就会缺氧，在水底下他会直接昏迷，或者是说，的水积到肺里面，会造成我们说一个疾病的一个发生。Next up is Xu Jiang Hong。只要是关于脚步的动作的话，其实都会影响到那个疼痛。He takes his last breath and pushes off. Recruit Chu Jang Hung, this test will be his last. And with it, his dream of becoming a frogman. After nine weeks training, only 14 men are left, and it's time to really test what these soldiers are made of. The last week is the week they have been dreading. Hell week. Oh, oh, 
14 recruits are in their final phase to join Taiwan's elite Marine Amphibious Recon Unit. After nine weeks of training, these men face their worst fear, Hell Week. Six days and five nights where they will be forced to undergo continuous exercise. Modeled on the U.S. Navy SEALs training, this week includes a series of 21 separate tests. It's the final challenge that stands between them and their frogman badge. Kernan 走! The night before Hell Week starts, instructors burn incense, a ceremony to ask the gods for protection. The whole camp attends. Our training in many ways has a lot of inclusion. In our church and church, we control these inclusion. 那一些比较突发的状况，或者是意外的状况，希望透过这个祭祀的这种动作来避免掉。This week, the recruits need any help they can get. 就希望说不要让自己受伤，对，因为听一些助教都说，如果受伤的话，就是可能都会比较难过。just when they thought they could get some rest. It is a cold wake-up call. From now on, they face challenge after challenge. First up, a 25-kilometer run. With an injured knee, recruit Leo Tayu is under the gun. With continuous physical exercise, injuries are the main reason for recruits to drop out during Hell Week. And lower limb injuries are the most common. A few kilometers in, and Leo Tayu can't keep up. His knee joint is hurting, and he has to get in the ambulance. He hasn't finished the run, but instructors let him stay. They get one hour of rest. And then wake to bad news. 因为刚好遇到三三年来，台湾最早最早遇到的寒流，然后在泼水那一刻很冷，非常冷。Their next challenge, 
paddle their rubber dinghies for a distance of 15 kilometers in two hours, and then march them back again. Dinghies are the main method of transport used by frogmen. But to move the dinghy in the right direction and propel it through the water takes a lot of effort. Recruits are divided into two teams of seven. Each team has a leader at the back of the dinghy shouting directions. But once offshore, the sea becomes rough. Recruit Lin Yi Hung is the first to get seasick. But even with one member paddling slower, team number two has better teamwork and manages to stay ahead. They are the first to arrive to the finish line. Now they will have to bring back their rubber dinghies to the camp. Over their head for 15 kilometers. Each of these rubber dinghies weighs more than 250 kilograms. Leadership is key to succeeding. The boat is heaviest at the front. The leader needs to keep it balanced, or some recruits could end up carrying double the weight of others. Recruits Sun Chiachun and Lia Taiyu have leg injuries. The team leader puts them at the back, hoping they will have less weight. The hill is too much for recruit Leo Taiyu. His knee is swollen and in pain. He wants to continue. Recruit Leo Taiyu gets a free ride to camp while the others run the final two kilometers. All the recruits have passed the test. But Hell Week is just about to get harder. It's day two of Hell Week the final week of training for Taiwan's amphibious marine recon unit. The recruit's next challenge is a three-hour ocean swim. This是我們要訓練學員他可以在長時間的在海上進行移動,然後在這方面我們要訓練那個學員可以在三個小時內,然後以不離開水面,原則他都可以持續的在這三小時內游泳。Safety is important for this test. These men are exhausted and could easily drown at sea. 
the instructors remain close, and each man has a luminous baton on their head. It's a cold 17 degrees. Recruit Leo Taiyu is suffering more than others. He has swelling on his knee, and the cold water is increasing his pain. He has to rely on his arms to keep his body afloat and finish the exercise. He is the first recruit in Hell Week to ring the bell. This bell is taken to all of the 21 exercises the recruits have to pass for Hell Week. For recruit Leo Taiyu, it's the end of the road. For the 13 remaining, they are one man short for the rest of Hell Week. The first challenge of the day is dinghy training. Two teams will practice flipping their rubber dinghies. In battle, these men will have to flip them in order to hide from enemy air activity. With one member less, team number one is feeling the pressure. But team number two is having issues of its own. The two teams are competing to be first. They first have to paddle it around the harbor. Paddles are collected. Then all the two men jump out and flip the dinghy. Then two from the other side jump on and flip it back. They have to rely on teamwork or they will fail. Even with one recruit less, team number one makes it back to the sh shore first. Yeah, I'm and those that failed get punished. Recon style. Next is a deep diving exercise that strikes fear among all recon recruits. These recruits will have to dive six meters and bring back a handful of sand. It's a difficult dive, but one the instructors can monitor.
上次做的时候不是做的很顺利，因为做完第一次前的时候，那个要做排压动作没没排好。If they do not decompress well today, recruits only risk a headache. But with deeper depths, such an error could cost them their lives. Some students will feel nervous, or when they are lifting, they cannot lift, which can easily cause an infection or a headache. Recruit Pen Qingche has a fever, and this might threaten even more than just his results. 学生现在有点感冒，可能会怕那个影响到耳朵的排压。He's been given the all clear. Their next test is a swim at sea with their rucksacks and rifles for two hours. It simulates the men having to swim ashore from a capsized dinghy. The two teams have to move together, and leaders have to make sure no one remains behind. 当那个艇长不在的话，他剩下里面可能最资深的可能就要站出来了。发现到我们我们有人脱队的话，可能就要把我们继续团我们我们剩下的团队继续把它带下去。Those that swim faster remain at the back, while the slower ones are put in the front. But recruit Pen Chinche's flu is seriously affecting his speed. 那落队艇兵他可能是体力已经不支了嘛，然后艇长可能是求好心切。With no leader, team number one is slowed down and coming late. Recruit Pen Chinche's mistake gets his team slowed down. They're tired and cold. It's day three, and the night brings a small break for all the recruits. Tonight's reflection is the calm before the storm. Thirteen recruits are trying to survive the final 48 hours of Hell Week. If they succeed, they will gain membership to Taiwan's elite frogmen, the Marine Amphibious Reconnaissance Unit. These next two days will be the toughest part of their entire 10 weeks basic training. Next, another swimming test. The bell is carried to each challenge. Recruits who want to quit have to ring the bell to leave. First, they have to perform basic stretching exercises aimed at preventing cramps when they get into water. Five, two, three, 
Next, they have to swim for four hours using different strokes. This test is not just physical training. In combat, these men might have to swim for hours to reach an objective. The exercise is designed to test their endurance to cold and stress. Just 30 minutes of front crawl swimming and the oldest recruit, Chen Yuqian, begins to experience the first signs of hypothermia. His low body temperature is causing his muscles to shiver without control. If the temperature goes below 35, he will need to be hospitalized and will fail the course. The other recruits go on with mask and fin swimming training. But before dawn, there is another casualty. Recruit Xiao Qihong's temperature has drastically dropped. Both recruits are taken off the test. They will have to wait to find out if they have failed the course. The next morning, a run in full battle equipment. For the recruits, there is no rest. From freezing waters to 30 degrees sunshine, Four days into Hell Week, and the pain is beginning to show. <laughs> Team number two's leader has an injury. His ankle is twisted. <laughs> He is taken to the hospital for examination, but this error might compromise him joining the frogmen. Next, recruits have to endure a four hour tactical challenge. For the two recruits who failed the pool test, it's their lucky day. Chen Yuqian and Chao Qiang are readmitted to the course, even when their bodies are struggling to keep going. <laughs> The men must patrol tactically. When behind enemy lines, hand signals are used to communicate with each other. Noise could give away their position. Recruits have to make sure their movements go undetected. And the instructors are constantly throwing new challenges to test their mental state.
各组各组，我会下一个状况就是说让他们找什么东西。其实没有这个东西呢，是让他们知道你可以利用利用这个现地的东西。Team number two completes the test in three hours and gets some rest. But punishment is handed out to those who come in late. It's the fourth night of Hell Week, and once more they will be deprived of sleep. Recruits will patrol along a trail seven kilometers long for four hours. Because our fire will be very visible in the morning, so we will make them wear black or red. Be careful to be white and not white. Now it's already late at night, and now it's very difficult. It's very easy to be white. Recruits are equipped with a radio transmitter through which the leader directs the group. Each team has to split up into smaller groups. Each group covers a different area to make sure the rest of the team can walk through undetected. But the recruits are so exhausted, they start making simple but critical errors. Right now, every error costs them a small physical punishment. But in war, these small mistakes could cost them their lives. Last, the recruits are made to crawl on their haunches with 20 kilograms of equipment weighing them down. Recruit Den Chiming is struggling. With only one day to the end of Hell Week, he might not make the grade. It's the night before the last day of Hell Week, the final week of training to join Taiwan's elite unit, the Marine Amphibious Recon. Recruit Den Chiming has failed the night patrolling test. Instructors give him a last chance. He can stay, but he can't fail another exercise or he will be out of the course. It is the last day of Hell Week. After just one hour rest, the instructors have prepared an unexpected wake-up call. Tear gas. The men have to pack immediately. But they are too slow, and one recruit bears the brunt. 
The instructors give out punishment to everyone. Gas masks come in handy for the next test. The teams have to search through two abandoned buildings and retrieve a hidden item. To increase the difficulty, instructors simulate an enemy gas attack. The recruits succeed, and for once, no punishment. It's one day from graduation. On the march back to camp, they get a chance to reflect. The road to heaven is recon slang for the final test in Hell Week. To earn their badge, they first have to crawl over 50 meters of razor-sharp coral rocks. Family and friends are invited to support the recruits. The path has 10 stopping points. At each one, they perform a frogman exercise. It's designed to make them feel pain. 當然,我們蛙人在執行任務的時候,一定會通過一些很崎嶇的路程,不管上山下海,如果他這個都做不到的話,他就沒有辦法出任務。Recruit Sun Chiachun's father is a Marine Recon veteran. He knows these hardships very well. He has come today to witness his son's ultimate pain. To increase their pain, salty water is thrown onto their wounds. Team number one's leader, Tsai Chung Hao, is struggling to get to the end. His men are ahead of him. Instructors want him to lead by example. Well 
He has to rely on his determination to get this badge. It's one final test to prove they will do anything to join the Frogmen. <laughs> For recruit Gao Inxie, this day is even more special. The youngest, Ling Yi Hung, has won the best recruit prize. The men have all made the grade and are now frog men. Amphibious assaults. Sanjo's This unique unit was born from conflict. As the Chinese Civil War was brought to an end in 1949. The nationalist forces of the Republic of China retreated to Taiwan. A special elite force was needed to keep both Taiwan's shores safe and have the ability to probe into China's coastline. In 1955, the amphibious reconnaissance unit was born. The first batch of 22 frogmen passed the selection and formed Taiwan's first marine amphibious recon unit. And only the best will make the cut. Taiwan's marine amphibious recon unit are trained to approach from the ocean, gather intelligence, and hit the enemy hard. Our They can operate on sea, air, and land. But their main role is to clear the way for large Modeled after the U.S. Navy SEALs, these soldiers quickly earned the nickname Frogmen. Today, there are only 400 recon marines, a small elite corps. Being constantly on call is part of this unit's DNA. To become part of this unit, 
recruits first have to pass a 10-week selection course designed to test their physical and psychological limits. And it all starts here. Zoeing Camp, Kaohsiung, Southern Taiwan. It's already week nine of the course. 33 men have started and only 15 remain. This class of recruits are already serving soldiers in the Marine Corps. Recruit Soon Jia Jun has a legacy to follow. And some just want to be the best of the best. Those that survive will earn the coveted Marines Amphibious Reconnaissance Unit badge. 两栖征收大队备章潜水员的部分表示我们具备了两栖征收作战的能力。On the southern coast of Taiwan, a group of recruits are fighting to join one of the Navy's toughest units. The Marine Amphibious Recon, known as the Frogman. But before they earn this badge of honor, recruits must first endure 10 weeks of training. Oh, it climaxes with Hell Week. Six days of non-stop punishment. It's a brutal selection course where almost one-third will fail. Good, don't you do so? You're the failure! <laughs> 